Do you know how much of your data is actually stored on social media websites when you sign up? Don't worry, you're in luck. I'm going to show you how to download all of your personal data on the top three social media platforms, including Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And you might be surprised about how much information they're actually keeping on you. You might even find out that some of those old photos and posts that you thought you deleted aren't actually gone. So let's go take a look. All right, the first social media platform we're gonna look at is Facebook. Everyone knows Zuck has all this data on it, so I'm gonna show you how to download it. We'll go the long way first, and at the end, I'll show you how to get directly to it. First, you're gonna wanna click this arrow in the top right, the account arrow. Then you're gonna click on settings and privacy. Settings. And on the left, you're gonna click your Facebook information. And from here, you can go through each one of these categories. Maybe it's something you want to do, like maybe you want to deactivate or delete your account after you realize how much data they have on you. But for now, I'm teaching you how to download your information. So of course, we're going to click on download your information. And from here, you can click available copies if you've already previously downloaded your information once. So I can go back and look at my old data. But if we want new data, we're going to go back to request copy. Then you can select your date times. I'm just going to click all time. So it's going to be all my data since I first started Facebook. It was not in 2004 though. Media quality, we'll just do medium, make it a little faster. And then you can go through each one of these categories and, and see if it's something you want to download. And there's quite a bit. And just scrolling through these, it really puts in, puts in perspective how much data they actually have on you. And every little thing you do on Facebook is stored somewhere. So you can see all the messages you sent to people, all the posts and likes you've done all the polls you participated in, and it just goes on and on. For now, I'm gonna just have everything selected just to show you all the data it actually stores. And uh, when you're ready, hit create a file. And I've been on Facebook for quite a while, so this might take a little bit, so I'll be back with you shortly once the file's done being created. Actually, before we look at the file, I was gonna tell you a shorter way to get to this screen. All you have to do is go to that URL up at the top right, facebook.com slash DYI, and it'll take you directly here. That way you don't have to go Go clicking through the menus. And now we wait. A few minutes later. All right, my file just got done being created. And once it's done, you should be getting a notification in the top right under your notifications. It took about five to 10 minutes for mine. Then you're gonna go to available copies. This is my newest one requested on today's date. And just hit download, type in your password. There we go, all right. And it should be uh, downloading. Then once it's done, just go to your downloads folder. It's gonna have your username listed here. I Got rid of mine and hit the extract button and it's going to create all these folders with all your data in them. So now you can go through each one, figure out what the data you want to find, go and look through it. So you can see all these photos that I have, thumbnails, mobile uploads, all of my pages I've created, my notifications. And an easy way to look at it is you can just hit this index.html, open that up. It's gonna open what looks to be a website, but it's, it's actually just a page on your local computer and you can go through it kind of like Facebook. If you posted any stories previously, they're all gonna show up right here. Let's see if I can find something. I'll just go to my photos and uh, yeah, you can see, I need to get rid of this photo because Texans are garbage this year, but here's an old photo of me. There you go, on to the next platform. All right, on to the next one, another one of Zuck's creations. And by Zuck, I mean Zuckerberg, it's Instagram. And if you haven't already, make sure you go follow my page at setup spawn you've probably came from here actually but for some reason if you're watching this video go subscribe to it or follow it you're going to notice it's going to be a lot of the same information since instagram is owned by facebook but i'll show you how to do it anyways the so first thing you're going to do is click on your profile picture and this also works on your phone so if you're watching this and you're like i want to download it on my phone well you can do the same thing it's basically the same settings and for that we're going to hit settings then we're going to click on privacy and security Scroll down to where it says request download. Pretty simple, right? We're looking to download our data. We're going to hit request download. Again, you can select your format. We'll stick with HTML. Hit next. Type in your password and request your download. Now, Instagram, I've noticed, does take a lot longer to get your data. So because it takes so long, and I've tried this on my main account before, I'm going to have to go to my personal account and also request my data so I can show you exactly what it looks like. Because on this account, there's just way too much data and it takes forever. All right, so once Instagram's done generating your data, you won't actually get a notification within the app or Instagram. What they're gonna do is send you an email similar to this one to the email address that is attached to your account. So once you find that email, all you have to do is hit download information, log into your account again, 
And it'll take you back to this to the screen that we we're at before when we requested our download and then you're gonna hit download information again and for my personal account it took about 10 minutes for them to send me an email compared to i don't even know on my other account i still have yet to receive an email and i request the data like a month ago all right and again when it's done downloading go to your downloads folder and you're going to see a similar file to what we saw when we downloaded our facebook file all you have to do is right click on it and do the same thing extract and we don't have as much data as we had on Facebook, but we still have quite a bit. We have our old messages, all the likes we ever had. You can look at all your followers and following, comments. And if you go into media, you can see all the stories you've ever posted, just like Facebook. You can see I have quite a bit. We'll just open up a random one. Uh, oh look, it was me at Coors Field. There you go, I think the Astros won that game. Yeah, you don't have as much flexibility as you do when you're downloading Facebook data, but you still get a ton of data on your Instagram account. And with that said, let's move on to the final social media platform. And the final social media platform we're going to take a look at is the one that everyone's afraid of and the one that keeps banning me for no reason. And yes, we are talking about TikTok. Now, unfortunately, to download your TikTok data, you're not gonna be able to download it on the web platform. You can take a look here if we go into settings. There's really not too much settings to their browser application. So I'm gonna have to show you using my old trusty iPhone. So the first thing you have to do is obviously open up the TikTok app and click on the three horizontal lines in the top right. Then click on the privacy tab, click on personalization and data, and download data. Now from here, you can choose what kind of format you want your data in, whether it be text or JSON. And when you've made your decision, just hit request data. Now, TikTok was actually one of the longest to actually send my data to me. It took about two days after I requested it to actually receive my data and you will get a notification within the app when your data is ready to download. Now, I'm not gonna show it here, but when you download it, it's in a zip file on your iPhone or Android phone. But to make it easier to look at, I sent that file to my computer so we can take a look at it now. As right, so you can see, I have my TikTok data in my zip folder. Similar to the other social media platforms, I also sent it in a zip folder. So what we're gonna have to do is, like we did on the other ones, extract it. And what you're gonna notice with TikTok's data is there's really not much to it. It's kind of the same data that you can see in the app already, but it's just in text form this time. So I'll open up one of these, uh, we'll open up videos. And if we open up the videos text folder, it's just gonna be a list of links to every video I've ever made. So unlike Facebook and Instagram, it doesn't actually allow you to save the MP4 itself, but it just links you to it and gives you some stats behind it. And here's the activity folder. You can go through each one of these text files if you want to. Like I said, it's all gonna be in text format. So I don't know what you gain from actually downloading your data, but if you do want like kind of a backup of all your data, then this is a great way to do it. And you can search through the other files. Maybe you find something that you might need within there, but still a pretty simple process to download your data with TikTok. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you were able to find all the information you're looking for and download all your data on your social media platforms. If it scares you about how much data they actually have on you, then it might be time to start deleting some of those accounts. In which case I may make another video for that. So if you haven't already, you already know what to do by now. Hit the subscribe button, comment, share, and like. Also go check me out on all the other social media platforms that we just talked about like Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. It should be all set up spawn or Maddie McTech. And other than that, we out.